Motherfucker. I always like talking, cuz. If it ain't about this, cuz. If it ain't about this, cuz. I don't want to talk, cuz. I'm just chill, stay out the way, trying to beat this case and get these blue strips. I got some old honey. This is the story of Monique Smith and Drayon Glenn, a couple deeply in love and devoted to their family. Monique was a warm and compassionate 29-year-old woman, known for her infectious laughter and kindness. She met and fell in love with Joral Drayon Glenn, a 31-year-old man, and they married in 2022. They were living their life peacefully, but little did they know that their lives would be cut short in a senseless act of violence. Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Arlington, Texas, a bustling city known for its vibrant community and diverse culture. In this very city, a tragic crime unfolded, forever changing the lives of those involved. Monique Smith, a 29-year-old woman, resided in Arlington with her husband, Drayon Glenn. Monique was a devoted wife and mother, known for her warmth and compassionate nature. She married Joral Drayon Glenn on February 6, 2022, and together they had a young son named King Jason Glenn. Monique was full of life and loved being a mother to her children. She enjoyed outside activities in the park, playing volleyball, as well as spending time with family and friends. She was an avid shopper and loved cooking for her family and redecorating the house. She was a beloved daughter, sister, and friend, a young woman whose life was full of love and promise. Monique Smith worked as a caregiver at Bethesda Gardens Assisted Living in Arlington, Texas. She was known for her nurturing spirit and selfless dedication to her family and community. Monique's colleagues and friends described her as a kind-hearted individual with a genuine passion for making a difference in the lives of those around her. Drayon Glenn, aged 31, was Monique's loving husband and a dedicated father to their son. Drayon was a family man at heart, deeply devoted to his wife and children, but he also had a strong connection to the street life. He often found himself bragging about his ability to make money through street hustles. This side of him was evident in the way he flaunted his wealth on social media, showcasing flashy displays of money and material possessions. Oh, see, kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop playing, nigga. Stop playing, nigga. Monique and Drayan's personalities complemented each other, creating a loving and supportive environment for their family. Their bond was built on mutual respect, trust, and a shared commitment to creating a bright future for their son. Monique and Drayon were loving parents to three children, Cameron Deshaun Foster, King Jason Glenn, and Camaria, K.K. Davis. Cameron was Monique's oldest son from her previous relationship, and he was a talented basketball player, with Monique serving as his biggest supporter and cheerleader. In the quiet neighborhood of Chatham Green Village Apartments in Arlington, Texas, a tragic event unfolded on the evening of January 25, 2024. Monique Smith, a 29-year-old woman full of life and love, found herself caught in a nightmare alongside two men in a senseless act of violence. As the clock struck just past 8.30 p.m., the peaceful evening was shattered by the sound of gunshots echoing through the complex. Monique and Drayon, along with Shannon O'Shea Jones, became victims of a heinous crime that would shake the community to its core. After the shooting occurred in apartments, residents and neighbors heard the commotion and dialed 911. When police arrived, they found 29-year-old Shannon O'Shea Jones dead in the doorway and 29-year-old Monique Elaine Smith deceased inside the apartment. Additionally, 31-year-old Joral Drayon Glenn was found injured inside the apartment and later passed away at a nearby hospital. Amidst this horror, two children present in the apartment were thankfully unharmed, spared from the violence that unfolded before their innocent eyes. Witnesses also reported seeing a man fleeing the scene. Among those killed, Shannon O'Shea Jones, a 29-year-old mobile barber, was visiting friends at the apartment complex. Witness accounts suggest that Jones was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time, becoming collateral damage in a senseless act of violence. Arlington police are still looking for the person responsible for shooting and killing three people in an apartment complex last night. Police say young children witnessed the shooting. Fox Force Peyton Yeager, live with our story tonight. Peyton.
Stephen Arlington police, they were back out at that apartment complex this afternoon talking to neighbors and hopefully locating surveillance video. Right now, police, they're only releasing a vague description. They say witnesses told them a man dressed in all black was seen running from the scene. I've been over here three years and never had any issues ever, not once, so it's really, it's really scary. It was eerily quiet Friday afternoon when Kiana Walker took her dog outside, but less than 24 hours ago, she says outside her apartment was chaos, quickly learning a triple murder took place just feet away. We saw all the lights and then we just saw cops, flashlights going by our window. Just after 8.30 p.m. Thursday, Arlington police were called out to an apartment complex near Matlock Road in Arbrook Boulevard. A 29 year old man was found shot and killed outside an apartment where the door was kicked in. Once officers entered the apartment, they discovered the couple who lived there, a 31 year old man and a 29 year old woman, had also been shot. The couple died from their injuries. The woman's two children were also in the apartment. They were not hurt, but police say they likely witnessed the violence. Police believe the suspect forced his way in. We believe that the incident occurred due to high risk drug activity. Police didn't elaborate on a possible motive, only saying evidence found on scene leads them to believe the triple murder is drug related. In a press conference Friday afternoon, the Arlington Police Department says the couple living at the apartment likely knew the killer. It was callous, it was heinous, and it was ruthless. Police did confirm the 29 year old man lying outside the apartment was an acquaintance visiting the couple. He's a mobile barber. Family members tell Fox 4 the 29 year old is Shannon Jones. His mother says the man living at the complex was one of Shannon's clients. Shannon leaves behind a five year old son and a one month old baby girl. He had an appointment, the guy had an appointment. So Shannon goes to cut his hair and in the midst of that something was going on and he was leaving but I, I can't confirm that because like I said I wasn't there hope they have some time to reflect on what they did and what they took from us Larry Dwayne Reed a 29 year old African-American male has been identified as the prime suspect in these murders Reed lived in Arlington prior to the incident, but has ties to Mississippi. He is described as standing approximately 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing about 175 pounds, having black hair, and brown eyes. Authorities consider Reed to be armed and dangerous. Reed has a criminal history, he pleaded guilty to a murder charge in 2014 and received an 11-year sentence. However, he was released only a month before the recent triple homicide. There's evidence suggesting that Reed used a cell phone while incarcerated for the earlier murder conviction. Reed was arrested by the U.S. Marshals in Greenville, Mississippi, after multiple credible tips in the investigation connected him to the triple murder. One tip helped U.S. Marshals pinpoint a home in Mississippi where he was hiding. Reed will now be extradited to Tarrant County to face charges. A previously convicted murderer is back in custody again, this time charged with a triple murder. U.S. Marshals apprehended Larry Reed in Mississippi. He will be brought back to Texas to face charges for last month's shooting at an apartment complex that ended with three people dead. Stephen, the Arlington Police Department tells me it received multiple tips in this investigation that connected Larry Reed to the triple murder. One of the tips helped U.S. Marshals pinpoint a home in Mississippi. Inside, Larry Reed was hiding out. Six weeks after convicted killer, 29-year-old Larry Reed was released from state prison, he's now accused of shooting and killing three people at an Arlington apartment complex. A manhunt was underway since the January 25th triple murder. Tuesday, U.S. Marshals found Reed at a home in Greenville, Mississippi. They got a breakthrough. They needed when they received a tip from a 
caller who pointed them in the right direction of Larry Reed. According to an arrest warrant affidavit Fox 4 obtained on Tuesday, a witness stated Larry Reed also went by the name Crip. Arlington police wanted to protect the identity of the person who revealed Reed's location. So the majority of the witness's information was redacted. A tipster also told police Reed shot the 31 year old victim who lived at the apartment. Investigators believe Reed and the unidentified 31 year old victim knew each other and high risk drug activity may have been involved. Police say Reed continued to fire at others in the apartment. The third victim was 29 year old Shannon Jones. His family says he's a mobile barber and he was just visiting the apartment. I just don't know where to go from here. Jones's mother says the news of the arrest was a slight sigh of relief. I was worried that if he did that, what else is he going to do? Is he going to come here for us? Reed has a violent criminal history. In 2014, Reed pleaded guilty to the June 2012 murder of an 18 year old at an Arlington house party. Reed waived his right to a jury trial and was sentenced to 11 years in prison. He just finished his sentence in December. I just feel like they slapped him on the wrist and told him, OK, go to timeout. And when timeout is over with, you just come back here. That's, that's not working for me. The U.S. Marshals also tells me there was a short standoff today in Mississippi when they were taking Reed into custody. They tell me he was hiding out in the attic, so Marshals had to force their way inside the home and arrest him. He will now be transferred here to Tarrant County. Shannon Jones' mother, Paula Johnson, expressed both grief and relief upon learning of Reed's capture. She voiced concerns that Reed might return to target her family. Investigations conducted by Arlington police led to the discovery that Reed and one of the victims knew each other, and high-risk drug activity may have played a role in the tragedy, adding a layer of complexity to an already tragic situation. The triple homicide in Arlington, Texas, was a senseless and tragic event that should not have happened. The victims, Monique Elaine Smith, Shannon, Joral Drayon Glenn and O'Shea Jones, lost their lives in a violent act that has left their families and loved ones devastated. It is unclear what could have been done to prevent this tragedy, as the motive for the shooting is still under investigation. However, it is clear that gun violence continues to be a major issue in the United States, and more needs to be done to address it. The family and loved ones of the victims will undoubtedly be affected by this tragedy for years to come. Losing a loved one to violence is a traumatic experience that can have long-lasting effects on mental health and well-being. The fact that two children may have witnessed the shooting only adds to the trauma and pain of this event. The victims of this tragedy were described as community servants, and their loss will be felt by many in the Arlington area. It is important that we remember them and honor their memory by working towards a safer and more peaceful society. Unfortunately, this is not the first time that Arlington has experienced a violent crime. This raises questions about the effectiveness of the criminal justice system and the need for more comprehensive solutions to prevent violent crime. Thanks for watching. See you next time.